up everybody welcome back to my channel so I am so sorry it's been a minute since I filmed um, I've just been really busy with personal stuff and just trying to enjoy the summer um, but I'm back into it and I'm excited and I'm ready so today I wanted to share with you guys my favorite highlighting products and not only just like highlighting products but what products I love to get like that awesome glow and not only am I going to be telling you why I love them but I'm also going to be showing you just how I apply them and stuff like that so let's get right into the video <laughs> is that how you do that or you like slide it I don't know let's go <laughs> so to start off for those of you that are might be wondering um the lipstick that I am wearing is a liquid lipstick by Jeffree Star and this is in the color skin tight this has nothing to do with this video but just in case if you're wondering this is a gorgeous light pink color so the first thing I'm going to get into is highlighters because that's the obvious thing to start out with. So I'm going to show you my top three favorite highlighters right now. Um, obviously they might change, um, but for now these are my top three favorite highlighters. The Fenty Beauty, this is the uh, matchstick in Starstruck. All of her matchsticks, um, the highlighting ones, are absolutely beautiful and she has such a wide range of colors. Um, so it works for anybody from the fairest to the darkest skin tones and honestly I just find that the formula is so beautiful. Um, so it basically comes up in this little stick and you can roll it up to get more product and it's really like a really gorgeous cream formula that you can just rub on your skin and then just blend it out with your finger. So how I apply this is I would usually just like grab the stick and dab it on my face and then I would use my ring finger just to blend it out. Um, you can also use a beauty blender for this but I personally just prefer using the product on my finger. Um, these are just so beautiful. They really melt into your skin since they are a cream formula. They really do like warm up on your skin and just melt into it and it makes your highlight look even more natural and like a glow within. It's so gorgeous. Okay, so the next product is Jeffree Star. So this is Jeffree Star's Platinum Ice Skin Frost Pro Palette. He came out with two of these, so one for fair skin tones and then one for darker skin tones. I obviously myself went with the fair skin tone ones. Um, some of these I'm not crazy about. There's only like one or two that I don't see myself using every day, but the rest of them I absolutely love. The formula in all of them is very consistent and beautiful. Um, it's just very, very high shine. It's really creamy and beautiful, and you just get a lot of product, even in these smaller pans. So as you can see, it comes with six shades. So you have the color Ice Cold, Glacier, Lavender Snow, uh, Alien Ice Pink Chill and Canary Bling. So the two that I don't really use are Glacier and Alien Ice just because they are so different. But the other ones are just absolutely so gorgeous. You can see that I've dipped into Ice Cold quite a bit. That one's probably my favorite one. And then I also really, really love Canary Bling. Um, so yeah, I just really, really love this formula and these highlighters just because they are so highly pigmented. It's unreal. Like, it's literally like you're glowing from outer space. Um, and they're just so creamy and they really do last all day. So I'll show you a little swatchy poo of ice cold. I don't know if you can see that, but that's ice cold. So definitely 10 out of 10 recommend Jeffree Star's um, palettes. Even the, oh my gosh, even the single highlighting palettes I would definitely recommend because you get way more of that specific product. Um, if you're very, very pale, Ice Cold is so perfect. Like, it's unreal. I am like the lightest shade in foundations at Sephora sometimes, and Ice Cold is so beautiful on me. Okay, so the last of my favorite highlights is the Master Chrome by Maybelline. Um, so they just recently launched two more colors, I believe it is. They originally just started out with this one, which is the Molten Gold. Um, these are so unbelievable for drugstore product. They are like such a crazy highlight. This one, personally, I can only use when I have a tan on, but the two that they just launched, I got the rose gold one. I was gonna show it today, but I don't, I can't find it anywhere for the past couple weeks, which is really sad. It's just such a crazy glow. Like it gives you a really nice highlight and for only $7, it's seriously amazing. So I'll show you guys that one as well. So I don't know if you can see this, but this is Molten Gold. 
Okay, so now that I've ran you through my three favorite highlighters, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how I like to apply them. So if I'm working with Platinum Ice, let's say, I would either apply it using my favorite highlighting brush, which is the Morphe M510, and I basically just swirl the brush into the product, top off the excess, and then I already have highlighter on, but I'll show you guys like right here. So I would just apply it using back and forth mo motions like this I'll put a little bit on my chin as well um, another way that I really love to apply highlighters this is how you can make it look even more natural and sort of like a glow within it really helps it melt into your skin is by taking a beauty blender a damp beauty blender yeah, that's gross I have hair on my elastic a damp beauty blender and you basically just take it and you dab into the product like so and then let's say that you want to apply it on your cheekbone, you would just pinch it to the shape that you need and then just pat it right on there. So now moving on to the face, for one of my favorite products for glowing um, and getting that really dewy, like glowy effect um, for bronzer would have to be the MAC Gold Deposit. I recently just got this. Oops. I recently just got this and it's honestly so beautiful. It's um so usually what I would do is I would apply my contour or my bronzer, whatever I'm wearing that day, and then I would just take a little dab of this and it is so pigmented. Um and I would just take a dab of this with my brush and just blend it right on top and it really gives you that beautiful like glimmer effect. So I'll show you right here. Bam, that's so pretty. Like it's so gorgeous. I don't know if you can see but yeah what I love about this product is that it's just really like it has flecks of gold in it and so it just really gives you that like golden bronzed look and it also is so pigmented that you do not need a lot like I literally dip my brush in once and that's enough to do like half of my face um, so yeah this is the gold deposit mineralized skin finish and it's by Mac definitely recommend I actually have a couple more products from MAC. I don't know why, but I've just been... I like didn't shop there for quite a few years, and then just recently I went back, and I bought so much stuff, and I just really have been falling back in love with it. So this is the MAC, and these are blushes, and these are amazing for glowing and just looking very fresh. Um, so this is Into the Pink, and these are their, their uh, Extra Dimension blushes. So um, I got this one just because I really loved the color. I thought it was so cute and girly. Um, but you can see that it's extra dimension because they actually have shimmers in them and they just like really give your face dimension I guess but <laughs> yeah this is the into the pink when I put it on my skin I usually put it on my cheeks and then on the tip of my nose it just gives me a really like dewy and fresh look and it just makes me look like my skin is really glowing from within because it's adding that blushing and it's adding that shimmer at the same time so this is really gorgeous on the skin Okay, so my last product from MAC, and I know that this looks super, like, <laughs> sketchy because I've had it for so long and I need to buy a new one because it's actually empty, but this is the MAC Strobe Cream, um, and I bought this when they only had the one shade, and this is, like, the kind of purpley shade, um, but now they have, like, a peach one that I really want to get. Um, so yeah, this is just absolutely amazing. It's called a Hydrating Strobe Cream. Um, so what I use this for is before I put on my foundation and after I put on my primer I'll apply this to the high points of my face where I want that extra glow so I'll apply it to my cheeks to my chin to my forehead and to my nose and this honestly just really gives your foundation that extra luminosity and it really comes through in your foundation and it's so gorgeous so I definitely recommend their strobe cream it's so beautiful Okay, so the last product I'm going to talk about is by Hourglass, and this is the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Dim Light. So it comes in a little package like this, and you got a little mirror on it, which is super dirty, sorry. And it's basically just a face powder, but what is so great about this face powder is it actually has blurring effects to it, so it makes all your pores and imperfection, it actually blurs it out. And it also has a little like reflex in it almost it makes you look like super airbrushed and it makes you have like a really natural glow from within so I used to put this all over my face but I recently just watched Jacqueline Hill's video and she said that she only puts it on her cheeks um, just for that extra like 
luminosity so okay so it says online that it creates the perfect illumination for your face with hourglass ambient lighting powder infused with the innovative photoluminescent technology. Each finishing powder captures, diffuses, and softens the look of skin. The micron size color correcting particles refract light and create transparent coverage, filtering out harsh light and refining the appearance of skin. So yeah, it's actually so beautiful. It just really like airbrushes your skin and also gives you that luminosity. And I honestly really love this powder. I am so happy I got it. So to apply this powder, I usually take my Morphe M438, which is just a smaller blending brush, and I just dip into the powder, and then what I basically do is I'll just brush it over the apples of my cheeks. I usually put this on um, like after my foundation routines and before my highlight and stuff like that, and it honestly just really makes it beautiful anywhere where you have issues with pores as well I would definitely put it there unless if it's like over top of acne I would definitely avoid that because it does have the luminosity to it but yeah um, hourglass ambient lighting powder definitely recommend okay so that's the end of my video I hope you guys enjoyed just learning about what products I love to use and how I use them so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye